Hey y'all, I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on how to build your tape diagrams using a Google Slide. You can go to New, Google Slide. Once it loads, click on New Shape, a little circle and square up there, Shapes, and the square. And then you're going to draw your diagram out. Depending on how many parts you're going to break it into, this one we're going to break into five, so I'm going to line it up. I'm going to make sure it lines up with the two, and on this end with the seven. That way it's five inches long. Once I get it there, I know I'm breaking it down into five parts, so I'm going to add my lines in. And I'm going to add them in at every one inch mark. So if I put my first one lined up on the three, I can then control C and copy it, and control V to paste a new one, line this one up on the four, and then if I highlight both of them, I hit control C again. Let's get rid of that. Got them both highlighted, so I'm going to control C. Control V to uh, paste two more on there. Then I'm going to line those up with my five and my six up at the top. So that each of my five spaces here is six apart, or is one inch apart rather. Now I want to add my little all-inclusive thing to show me what my total is down here, so I'm going to go back to shapes, go to equations, I'm going to come over here, click on that last one, I'm going to draw this out a little bit, and then simply rotate it 90 degrees, Get it up here where it's lined up, and stretch it all the way out. Now it tells me that everything in between there is included. So I'm going to add a text box in here. I don't know what just happened to my mouse, but I'm going to add a text box and put 20. So now we know that everything inside that box there, or inside our tape diagram, totals 20. Make sure everything's centered on there. So everything in our tape diagram now totals 20. So say our scenario, we have five boxes. So we broke this down into five equal parts, right? Each of those boxes has X number of pieces of candy. So we know we're going to have to add an X in here, right? So let's get that lined up. Now we're going to have an X. Let's change it off of italics. And then we're going to, we have X number of pieces of candy and we're going to add three pieces. All right, so now we have X plus three, because we don't know how many pieces of candy we started with in there, but we know we added three to it. And we know that in total, the X plus three equals one-fifth of 20. So we know that each of these boxes, in order to equal 20, we have to do the same thing, right? X plus three. We're going to copy that. We're going to paste it. Another one. Let's move that over here. And so forth until we get all five of them in there. Let's 
So now we have our tape diagram set up. We have five equal parts of x plus three to equal a total of 20, right? So now we want to figure out how to put that in an equation. So there's several different ways we can do it. We can do it as five, and then, I don't know why my mouse keeps jumping around. So parentheses, x plus three, close parentheses, equals 20. So that's one way we can do it. Or we can do it as x plus 3, and then we're going to multiply that, let's see, so we're going to use a star for the multiplication, multiply that by 5, Oops. Backspace and do this the right way because I forgot to hit shift on that. So now we have x plus 3 times 5 equals 20. So there's a couple different ways we can write out that equation in order to solve for it. So just as you go through, make sure you're using your Google Slots to do your tape diagrams and then you can link your Google Drive directly to your Canvas and it'll let you select whatever Google slide you use as an answer and place it in there. You can link it directly into your answers that way you don't have to copy and paste anything. You just link it over once you do the work one time. Link it over and I'll be able to see it. Alright, y'all have fun. Thank you.